What's up guys, it's me Alan and I'm back with another video today and we got another NASCAR diecast review, another 2020 NASCAR diecast review. Um, except this isn't going to be on a car, this is going to be on a truck. Ha, <laughs> how about that? Um, won't be surprised if I accidentally call it a car multiple times, it's, it's a, it, you know, it happens. <laughs> I mean, if you've watched OBB's reviews, you know, <laughs> it's, it's easy to mistake it. But anyway, aside from that, Today, we're going to be reviewing Ty Majeski's number 44 Plan B sales truck for Nice Motorsports. And I gotta say, it's pretty cool to see these die casts where you have the die cast makers, Lionel, or sellers, uh, Plan B sales, um, on the cars. You know? Uh, it's pretty cool that uh, with Plan B sales, what they, what they do in the Cup Series uh, with having uh, names on the car, uh, like they did with Corey LaJoy on, on the back deck lid for uh, the uh, last week's race. Um, and they've done that in the past as well. So, like you know, like I said, it's pretty awesome to see this, and I'm definitely glad I got this. And, well, let's go ahead and open her up. Oh, actually, hang on. <laughs> it says it's a 2019 Silverado, but it's like, this is mean, you know, 2020, so. Call a spade a spade and move it along. <laughs> you know, you know it's a 2020 because of the fact that it's got the name, or the, the window bars. I call, I think I call it name rails in the Chase Elliott review. I meant to say window bars. Um, but anyway. And here's the truck. So, speaking of that. Yep, it's uh, in there. Eh, a little bit of a working suspension, just a little bit. Not that huge of a deal at times. Um, yeah, that front end's a bit crooked. And just a bit. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, you know, it's definitely nice to have these truck diecasts. I was talking about this in the Chase Alight review that, um, you know, I would hope to see more diecast you know truck and xfinity diecast get made obviously a lot of them get dmp'd but um but either way so eh, something got clear coated onto the hood right next to the plan b sales logo which by the way i want to say the plan b sales logo is centered because the chevy logo is centered as well or i want to say that the plan b sales logo is a little off to the left Either way, I mean, this is a really awesome looking paint scheme. I'm not gonna lie. Mm, it's something there. Yeah, it might be a paint thing. Um, there's the back end of it. Thing looks lined up right. Everything looks straight there. Also, pretty cool to see that you got the name, uh, the name banner on the back of the trucks now. Um, you had them on the cup, you had them on Xfinity, now you got them on truck, on the trucks. That's that's pretty freaking awesome right there. I'm not gonna lie. You got PlanBSales.com, the best place to get your diecast. Not gonna lie. I mean, I got mine off of Amazon, but this it, it came via Plan B Sales. So, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at this again, and that Plan B Sales logo. It, it just looks like it's off to the left. I mean, it would be right if you're looking from the side of the truck, left if you're looking from, if you're looking from my vantage point. Like I said, call a spade a spade. But yeah, I can definitely say that the front end is uh, it's a little it's a little off. But you know, like I said, it's time of Jesse. You know. I actually have an I actually have a Ty Majeski uh, diecast, and that is um, his iRacing his number sixty iRacing uh, car from the Xfinity series. Um, I believe he has another die another Xfinity series diecast made from the number sixty car. But either way, nice to see a guy like Majeski, you know, getting these diecasts made. Obviously, Nice Motorsports, uh, really known for Ross Chastain and what he did uh, last year and such. Or the last couple of years, um, but you also got guys like again Majeski, Natalie Decker, um, which is pretty awesome to see. You know, hopefully they have 
successful cruise. Yep, definitely got a working suspension on this truck. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, not not a whole lot to say about the diecast, um, ex except for a couple of things on the front. It's everything looks lined up properly, and there's no real issues to it. Definitely glad I was able to pick this uh, truck up. Yeah, no issues with that. Yeah, like I said, definitely glad to have this uh, in the collection. Um, like I said, you know, again, not a whole lot to talk about, really, about the diecast. It's more so, again, like I said, to, I would hope to see more more diecasts like this, more truck diecasts, more Xfinity diecasts, and authentics, and less DNPs of them. Um, but what can you do? It's Lionel. It is what it is. You know, people obviously want them, but you know, they got to meet the quotas with, you know, with ordering diecasts and such, and you know, pre-orders. And if they don't get met, then they get DNP'd. So, yeah, relatively short review. Not a whole lot to say. Um, so thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. It really help out the channel. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.